Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, and it's time for another reaction request. If you have a video that you'd like me to react to, check the description below. There's a link that'll take you to a Google document with all the raw information. So today we're back with more Gwen Saga from Geo EXU. Yeah, I looked at the pilot for this before, and it was interesting. I don't know if it was fully, uh, if it fully captured my attention, but uh, I'm eager to take another look. Uh, this is the first actual episode. And uh, this video, we're actually going to be doing the first two. So this one doesn't seem to actually have a title. It just says 001 Reupload. I don't think Reupload in parentheses is the title. It could be. But, uh, yeah, the other ones seem to have titles, but this one does not. Um, anyway, here we go. Terra. A oh. world governed by we a well-respected queen. Mighty, wise, magnificent, loved by the whole nation. Narration. Commander of an army and leader of a group of elemental guardians, she faced great menaces that threatened her kingdom. Right before passing away, the queen divided her land. So uh -huh. each of her daughters would embrace the task of continuing her legacy. One of them went in search of new lands to conquer in order to write her own story. The other stayed mainland, the one established by her mother. Accepting every commitment and menace the queen couldn't pin down in her life. Scooby Flavor is the favorites and a Sonic app. Live free, eat Sonic. Metro presenta la historia de dos clientes. He sido un cliente fiel desde hoy. Desde siempre. A mí me dan toda. Lots do not agree with their own lifestyle. Makes us think about how insignificant we are in this world. But what if I tell you there are other worlds? Okay. About to get isekai'd. Oh, that Mario music. Briefly. And then again. Yeah, not the... <laughs> not the In smoothest moment, introduction there. Their paths suddenly crossed. And the girl reacted as mature <gasps> as possible. Or maybe not. <clears throat> as sweet as she was, she decided to help him out. Suspecting uh -huh. the kid came from some other place, she made an effort to try to communicate with him. <laughs> he seems pretty confused.
Seeing how different he was, she decided to show him the beauty of this new world. Yeah, that's uh, quite the height. <laughs> Is that the Lion King? ¿Necesitas inspiración? Kroger tiene más de 30.000 deliciosas opciones y ahorros. Más... ¡Hey! ¿Qué? Mira. Se cool. She's someone also from a different world, I guess. We can assume. Oh. Where, where did he get that? The outfit. Just from her? Nice. You might want to hurry there. <laughs> it's uh <laughs> suddenly we're turn based. And then it's a platformer.
Wolves are being awfully patient. it all. say already I feel like that's a big step up from the pilot like uh, <laughs> I don't know just the fact that well for one thing it was it was in a color which I think adds a lot um, and uh, voices which also like I mean the narration and it wasn't fully voiced but obviously it's going for this like sort of uh, uh, gamic type thing like everything is sort of referencing video games constantly and it's kind of like clearly invoking like a video game world so uh yeah with like the limited voice cues like we're not fully voicing it but there are limited voice cues that kind of feels familiar like uh, a lot of games would do that in like the um the ps1 or even ps2 era uh before you would really have full voice acting for everything. I mean, even now, like, there are some games where <laughs> you can't expect every single conversation to be voiced. I mean, most probably will be, but uh, <laughs> sometimes not. And uh, I think I think it works. I think it works for it. I think I, I, I wasn't so convinced after the pilot. I mean, it still had some cool flash to it. Um, and a good sense of style, but I, I didn't know if it was something that I would be able to fully get invested in. But here I, I see promise, so I'm excited to continue. And uh, now we'll get into episode two, which is titled Gwen, which I assume is the name of the main character. Here. Apparently, YouTube is convinced I speak Spanish. Uh, I don't know how that happened. But um, anyway, here we go. 
I guess you wouldn't have noticed that, right? Oh, Queen is the Queen? I guess I was wrong. Brief, but nice. Yeah, not very well hidden there. <laughs> I guess it was obvious. Hmm. Oh, Gia, okay. I think I actually knew that already. I forgot it. Geo was just the name on his folder. Is that his actual name? I wonder. She's the princess. I think that was established, but we got. Yeah? Oh. 
actually crediting the song, I see. Maybe there was a war. Okay. Oh, that's a good pretty cool. This time, huh? <laughs> okay. I guess it's not that hard. Soy Valentina y un pequeño detalle que me fascinó del maple pepper bacon sandwich de Chick-fil-A. for three days, huh? <laughs> Well, that's, uh, I don't know. I think that kind of draws attention. <laughs> Looking pretty suspicious. We're not bulletproof.
Yeah. Looks like a lot to deal with. We're coming up on a major fundraising oh, deadline, you. and there aren't many more between now and the election, so I am asking. Well, bad time. Oh. oh, that was a pretty hard hit. So I guess it's not the girl from the last episode. Which wouldn't have made a whole lot of sense, but I mean we haven't really been introduced to a lot of characters yet, so hard to know. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think I preferred the first episode. I, I kind of missed the narration, and I mean that one had less <laughs> less vocal cues. Um, but uh, I mean, it's still it's still fun. I mean, it's interesting. It's odd how the show's named after Gwen, who right now doesn't seem very central. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, I guess at, at the start, 
um, gives you the power of AI to build well, the I'll website go back to the, you need. Uh, it's the cool. exposition at the start here. Like, that was about it. Terra, a world governed by a well-respected queen. Mighty, wise, magnificent, loved by the whole nation. Commanded by the yeah. whole nation. Yeah, Gwen. Commander of an army and leader of a group of elemental guardians, she faced great menaces that threatened her kingdom. Right before passing away, the queen divided her land so each of her daughters would embrace the task of continuing her legacy. One of them went in search of new lands to conquer in order to write her own story. The other stayed mainland, this the one Wayne, established right? by her mother. Accepting every commitment and menace the queen couldn't pin down in her life. Okay. So who is the other one who we just fought? I mean, probably not, but... <laughs> we don't really know about all the characters. Um, but if, if Gwen is the new queen, <laughs> she doesn't look old enough to be Ami's mother, but she was identified as the princess, so... Uh, is she just the third sister? Who the <laughs> introductory bit did not even acknowledge, or... Is Wayne just a lot older than she looks? I don't know. Um, huh. But, um, yeah, yeah. I, I still say, even even if uh, I preferred the first episode, uh, these two, definitely a lot more to sink into than the pilot. And, uh, yeah, I'd be down to continue. Um, not bad. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.